how to get the trapehedron catalyst for tier 3 weapons in Final Fantasy 13. So make sure you're using a party of Fang, Lightning, and Hope and utilize these paradigms. Rapid growth will allow you to get buffs on at the start of the battle. Tortoise tanks hits every time he attacks. Smart Bomb is going to be your main way of damaging the legs. Salvation is to heal yourself. Try Disaster is to build up the gauge. And Cerberus is to destroy the legs and to kill the tortoise. As for equipment, you want to make sure you got a Condosaur catalog as that's the only way you can get the Trapehedron and a Genshi glove so you can do uncapped damage. Then as for the others, it doesn't really matter what they have on as long as you have good stats. Holt's magic stat is over 2600 for me and Lightning is near the 20s for her strength and magic so keep these things in mind. And with that said, let's get into the battle. Now once you get into the battle, you want to make sure you start off in rapid growth. Now I choose not to use any auto supports with Fang, so then that way I can get the vanilla version of the buffs so that they last longer. You want these to last long because you might be in this battle for 4 to 6 minutes. Using the shortened debuff, the buffs that Fang has will make it only last for a shorter amount of time. So keep that in mind. Each time the tortoise attacks, you want to make sure you switch to, ironically, the tortoise paradigm. Doing this will allow you to tank damage and then you're going to repeat until you build up all of your buffs then you can go into the attack phase so the attack phase is you switch to smart bomb you attack one of the legs once it's staggered and you have a couple debuffs on it you would switch to the cerberus paradigm and attack the leg with high wind be mindful that he might attack in between this so get prepared to switch to tortoise once you hit the one leg you'll do the same tactic for the same other leg and uh, look out for abilities known as roar or quake as they will attack you and it can leave you helpless so just make sure you are aware of that the second thing is is that once you do this he's going to fall down once he falls down be mindful that your party could get hit by the fact that he falls down so just make sure you're here he'll dump or you'll die anyways He's down, so the first thing you want to do is switch to Smart Bomb, and you want to make sure that you're hitting with all the debuffs you have. While Fang is doing that, Hope and Lightning will be hitting with their Ravenger abilities, which will cause him to build up the chain while you're debuffing. Once you have all five debuffs on, you can switch to the Ravenger roll Try Disaster to build up the chain up into its limit this will allow you to do more damage so make sure you get this out the way really quickly and after that switch to the Cerberus paradigm this paradigm will allow you to do max damage and or near max damage and once you're doing this you should be chipping at the health relatively fast for the admin Taurus and if he starts to get up use the high wind ability but should he not, you will defeat this boss of a regular enemy and you will have a chance of getting the Trapehedron. Some tips to remember, make sure you're playing a game on normal mode. If you're on PC and you're playing this game on easy, you will not get the Trapehedron no matter what you do. So make sure you're playing this on normal. The second thing to remember is, is that you need to always be making sure you are looking at those legs so that you can switch the tortoise paradigm as fast as possible. Follow all these tips and you will be able to get the catalyst in order to get your tier 3 weapons. That said, I am Kai the player. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.